All right, guys, back with week two of my FL Studio 21 breakdown of my newest release. This is what I'll be breaking down. Alright guys, if you watched my first episode, you'll know that a lot of this is just resampling. Resampling is how I get so many of these glitches, so many of these dope ass, just crazy wild basses. So I started this drop off. Well, this is uh, the second drop. This is the B portion of the second drop. And I resampled the A portion of this drop to get this. This is like by far the coolest sound. And as you can see, I just have that hitting every bar for the majority. I take it away, but that's how it mostly starts. It's just this bar. And mind you, all of these ones in this maroon color, these are resampled. And then this is resampled too, and I'll get to that. But for the sound design stuff, it starts with that, that fun just hit into this, this fun like bass arp. Which is just like, it's just vibey. And let's go to the serum patch of that first and see what's going on there. Okay, it looks like it's two layers. Simple, one LFO on all the levels, sub, boss letter A and B, and let me guess, just distortion and a little bit of OTT. And then into the channel rack, just some basic EQs, cutting, boosting and cutting, wave shaper, just distorting, cutting again, cutting again, lowering some of that high end harshness and then limiting, just easy stuff. That's a good sound, I like that, that carries a lot of that. But then we have this sound right here. Another fun, just little rhythmic, not even a bass really. I think it's uh, just kind of used as percussion. And then this is one LFO, wavetable, FM, and the level, oh, as well as the both of these coarse pitches. And then the cutoff and the frequency. So there's, there's a decent amount of low end, but it's really, this one's actually really cool. It's kind of acting like a, a glitch. This one's, I did a lot with this one. I think I'll make a short with this sound because this one's fun. Let's take away all this stuff, see what it sounds like. Just all the effects. Literally nothing. Trash, right? And then just slowly add. We'll add the filter last. Get some space on that with the hyper dimension. Ooh. That really makes it clicky. On this one, I think I just brought the attack up and the ratio, I guess, the gain too. And then this EQ is just taking away the high. And then... <laughs> yeah. Whatever the fuck that is. Like, I just have it... Playing three times. Yeah, that's fun. That's a good one. Don't even know what the hell it is, but that's the fun of music production is a lot of this stuff is happy accidents. You get the basic ideas of how to make these sounds with where the filters go, 
which parameters to change, what type of effects you want to add to them, and what those effects are going to do to the sound. And then you just go tazy crazy on it. You just have fun with it. Uh, on to the next sound. We have this this bass. Yeah, we got a Yoi bass going on right here. This bass is kind of acting as an answer, uh, your call or a response, your call and response. It's, this is kind of the response to what's going on. Yeah, and then it sets it up for the next, this next stab here, which is just that resampled, but just like these, all just resampled. It's fun, it's fun. While we're at it, we'll just go to this. This one's also fun. This is resampled uh, art, and I just down pitched it. It sounds like this. And then alone, or in the track, I guess. Just as a little fun. And I think that art came from possibly this one. Yeah, this is the art that wasn't down pitched and then I down pitched that and then did all this to it, which is just 77, nothing, no serum effects. It's just down pitched and resampled. Let's see, next we have this fun thing over here. Ah, it's just another little fill bass. And, uh, it's not even a bass, it's, it's a lead, I think, yeah. It's a lead. Just two oscillators, one LFO, your generic fucking swoop de whoop ramp, along with not even a low cut, just a low shelf, taking away those sub and bass frequencies. But yeah, there's a little bit of sub frequencies going on there. It's fun. Producing is fun. Another fun sound made with resampling and this all all just resampled from either drop two a section or the drop one a and b section but for this track every section of the drop is is uh different so drop one a and b different than drop two a and b Just an idea of what's going on in drop two, section A. Then we have this. Oh, that's fun, yeah. And that just goes over. But yeah, that is how the brunt of this portion of the track was made. Uh, mostly resampling, like a lot of it's just resampling. Then there's a couple bass patches, like you have this one. Yeah, I mean, damn, most of it's just resampled stuff. And then this right here is like. Resampled machine gun glitch, and then just a snare. That's kind of cool. I'll show you guys how I made that. Camel Crusher on the, the resampled one. And then on the snare, it's just Camel Crush, tube a little bit up, mix at 100. And Vocodex is really doing, I think, the majority of that sound. And I guess it is already in pitch because the pitch shifter is not doing anything. And then just cutting off that sub frequency let's see if there are any other fun sounds this one's kind of cool and that is just that's just another resampled glitch synth fill yeah and i just chopped that up which is fun Super saw being filtered open, resampled. Another resampled chop. 
Resample and chop. That is the sauce. It really is. Because a lot of this stuff is just basic stuff. Guitar lead. Which says guitar lead, but it's not really guitar. This lead's kind of cool. sampled shit No, these are sound effects that I found Just basic stuff and then you have your ARP I believe or something like Super easy. I think that's just a square wave. Yep square wave with distortion not even any course pitch automation on it Really easy stuff. And then as you can see, it's a big project, but this is only the second drop. The rest of the drop was made in a different project because my CPU just gets destroyed. See, like the super saw is just too much, took up too much CPU. So I had to render that out. Hi right, guys, this has been project two breakdown of my latest track thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one